everyone. This is Running on Empty Food Review. And uh, hello, good good day, we'll say. Um, I figure this will probably be uploaded during the daytime hour, so good day it is. Hope I'm in the shot right, hope everything's good there. Uh, we'll just go with it no matter what, but I imagine my face is in the screen. And uh, here we are, food review time, another food review coming up. And uh, Taco Bell. I know this one might be a little late to the party, and I get it. I, I should have done this one earlier, um, but they still have it. They're still doing an aggressive advertising campaign about this item. So I figure, well, they still have it on the menu. There still might be people out there who have yet to try this uh, item. May as well review it still. Cheesy Core Burritos makes a comeback here, simply due to the fact that they have another one. They have the crunchy Cheesy Core Burrito, and then they have the spicy Cheesy Core Burrito. Now they're mostly the same exact thing, uh, confidentially at least. Cheese molten core, you know, it keeps it powering like a nuclear reactor. Rice surrounding the core, seasoned beef surrounding the core. Mysterious red sauce. A little bit of like sour cream mixed in there. But then here's the difference. Inside that cheese core with the crunchy one, they had little chips to try to add a crunch to it. Didn't really, but you know, they tried to at least. And this one, on the other hand, instead of having these chips in there, features little jalapeno chips, little pieces of jalapeno, which is supposed to now make it the, what is it called? The spicy, the fiery, cheesy core burrito. Anyway, it's supposed to ignite your mouth in just flames of flavor in this cheesy core burrito. Here it is. Looks like a burrito to me, you know. Still, uh, there it is. It's holding its own. And uh, still got the little bullseye here, at least. So, alright, I'm just gonna eat it and let you know what it tastes like and let you know how, how spicy this actually is going in. <laughs> Interestingly enough, looking at this from an anatomical point of view, you could be saying that the seasoned beef is actually the core of this burrito here. You know, you have cheese on the outsides right there, and then you have seasoned beef in the center. Shouldn't it be the other way around? There we go. I'm not gonna lie. In terms of presentation solely, and presentation does not mean anything in terms of food. It can look, it can look excellent. It could look so delectable, so beautiful, and it could taste absolutely horrible. So presentation is is aesthetically pleasing in food, but it actually doesn't mean anything when you're actually eating it. But the other Taco Bell, when I did the, the first cheesy core burrito review, actually had a more uniform appearance to it. You can see there was a, almost some sort of core. This one, though, you can see it's just layered. Um, the top has the cheese, the bottom has the beef, and that's it. But you know what? I'm not going to be picky. I'm not going to even bash them for that. Because I get it. I know that making a making a burrito and trying to keep everything in place is probably a lot harder than it seems. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. What's more important is not how it looks because the average customer isn't going to be sitting there with a microscope and a magnifying glass and then ask for the manager when there wasn't a distinct core of cheese. They're going to care about what it tastes like. So what does it taste like? If you remember, and you could go back to the, the review I did of the uh, standard cheesy core burrito from uh, the Bell of Taco, you'll remember 
There are a lot of components in there, and a lot of them mixed together, all right? That's the same case here, all right? You bite in, you're able to get a little bit of that, that really that Chipotle-esque uh, saltiness from the seasoned beef, right? You're able to taste a little bit of that sour cream, just a little bit of a kick from that, not too much. The good thing about this, at least, is that you can taste some of the cheese that's in it. Now, you do got to remember, though, that it's not liquid cheese in there. They give the implication that it is, but it's not. Think of the cheese that's in a cheese stick, as I said in the last video, like a cheese stick or what's in a stuffed crust pizza. Exactly the same as that. Same consistency, same relative flavor there. Um, the cheese itself is just a milder flavor. It's not extremely strong, though there is a lot of it. Um, but it is better than their nacho cheese, in my opinion. I think they do add a little bit of nacho cheese, but that's really indiscernible. The real thing that you're going to notice is what's buried in the cheese, and that is the jalapenos. And this is where they do strike gold, and they do really accomplish what they wanted to accomplish in this. You're able to bite into those jalapenos, and you are able to get a real rush of spiciness through them. Um, the spiciness is not overwhelming nor overbearing. However, it is a noticeable spiciness, and really, I think it adds a lot more flavor to this. Um, I think without the spiciness that the jalapenos contribute, this dish could really be a bit blander, uh, maybe a little too cheesy, but the spiciness really does help, really adds an extra boost of flavor. It's not going to be a spiciness that you're going to be dying for water and that you're going to need water for and it's going to make it unpleasant. It's not like that. Rather, the, the jalapenos, despite usually being spicy, because there's so much else mixed in here, um, the jalapenos really do give a flavorful spiciness to this dish and really do contribute a lot in that regard. The rice is there. Unfortunately, they make it look nice and seasoned and make it look like it's going to be the star of the show, but it's not. Um, it's just there. It's just like a little, a little ring, a little ring system around the, the cheesy core. And, uh, you know, that's what it is. Overall, though, you're not going to be able to taste... Uh, you're not going to be able to taste everything that's in this. You gotta accept that. You gotta say, oh, shoot, I was looking to taste that red sauce. You can't really say that because you're probably not going to be able to taste it. And you gotta say as well, I want to go into this, I want to get a cheesy burrito, and I want to get a little kick of a, a spice in there too. Then go with this because then you'll be getting exactly what you asked for. Um, but just don't come in here expecting an extremely diverse blend of cheeses and flavors because uh, really everything just just blends into this one, this one steamy miasma of, of flavor and, you know, it works though. Um, there's been far worse things I've had from Taco Bell than this, so, you know, congrats to them for, for doing this and, uh, honestly, I like this better than the, the original Cheesy Core Burrito. I, I really do. I like that little spicy, uh, flavorfulness that the jalapenos really combine. I think that really, as I've said like 20 times over now, I think it really does contribute a lot to this meal. That being said, it's $1.99, which I think is a pretty good deal for it. Um, again, you're getting a pretty plump burrito. It is pretty flavorful, and uh, hey, for what it is, I think they did a good job on it. Out of 10, what am I going to be rating the spicy, cheesy core burrito? You know, I'm going to have to give this an 8.35 out of 10. That's an 8.35 out of 10. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, it's not perfect, they could perhaps emphasize a few more flavors or take a few out, instead of having everything just blend together into this mush. But overall, the main components, the cheesy core, despite not actually being a core, it's still there. And the jalapenos are noticeable, positively contribute to everything, and lead to a positive and cheap eating experience. For those of you wondering, VORW, uh, I hope to have it coming soon. I'm working on the last show, uh, number 130, and uh, my goal is to try to maybe get it up tonight or tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to try to let you down there. So stay tuned for that. I want to get a VORW up soon. So uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. Well, I hope you're all having a, a wonderful day, a beautiful Friday. And uh, hope you at least got something out of this review. I'm your host, Support of the Week, and this is Running an Empty Food Review. Today's review was for the spicy Cheesy Core Burritos from Taco Bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.